All right, we just finished looking at commission and how we can use percents to calculate uh, somebody's take-home pay with commission. We're now going to be looking at interest. So um, we're going to start with simple interest. We're not going to look at compound interest. Compound interest is much more complicated. Uh, we're going to concentrate just on simple interest in this class. So uh, simple interest paid annually. So uh, following along here, interest is the amount of money that's charged when you borrow money. And so if you are, or if you're lending money, so if you borrow money from a bank, they're going to let you have $300,000. However, you have to pay them back that $300,000 and you have to pay them a little extra. You pay them a thank you. you. Pay them more because they were willing to loan you that money. And some of you are thinking, oh, that's not fair. Uh, it's perfectly fair, just like it's, if it's the other way around. If, um, I don't know, uh, if, if Marty is, is opening up a new taco stand and he wants, uh, he wants some help starting up, he needs some money to help build the taco stand. Uh, he might ask me for some money. And I'm going to say, sure, you're a trustworthy guy. I'm going to lend you, you know, $15,000. I have $15,000 laying around. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you use that. However, I need you to pay me that $15,000 back plus a little bit extra. So as a thank you, you're going to pay me some extra back. And that's this interest. And we're going to start with simple interest. And so we are following the principle. There's a couple of vocabulary words. The principle is not Mr. Kovach. The principle is the amount borrowed or invested. And that's a little bit of vocabulary that we're going to be using. So in this simple interest formula, I equals PERT. That's our equation. I equals PERT. It's a great formula. I equals PERT. I, in this formula, is the simple interest. You can copy that down. The simple interest. So the simple interest is equal to the principle times the rate. Now be careful with the interest rate. The interest rate is as a decimal because again, before we can use percents, uh, we got to change them into a decimal. So we're going to change all our rates into decimals or a fraction if you prefer. But your calculator would rather you use a decimal. Times T, time. And the time has to be in years. That is important because you can borrow something, you can borrow money for three months. But that's not three years. Three months and three years are very different. So this formula is set up to use time in years. If your time is not in years, you have to change it so it works with this formula. So when you're using the formula I equals PERT to find simple interest paid annually, T represent time, represents time in years. But again, remember that um, we've got, we've, we have to change our, our things in years. So if you have one month, one month is one twelfth of a year. Two months is two twelfths of a year. Six months would be six twelfths of a year, or half of a year. You know, nine months. Nine months can be three fourths of a year. And so you can look at months as fractions of a year, as one twelfth of a year. We're going to get some examples. So uh, again, don't forget changing all percents to decimals or fractions before you can use them. We're going to find the simple interest paid for three years on a $2,500 loan at 11.5% per, per year. Again, this might sound like, oh my God, what is he talking about? This is written very clearly if you uh, look at any kind of a uh, credit card contract, uh, a credit card statement. It's, I mean, the, the language they use is incredibly difficult to understand, but this is where you can get it taken advantage of. You really have to understand how interest works. Uh, if you want to get the best deal on things. So we're going to use our, our formula. And I want you to write this down. I want you to write I equals PERT. I equals PERT. OK. We're going to find the simple interest. We don't know the interest, I. That we don't know. So simple interest is your I. We don't know. Paid for three years. OK, so three years. I'm going to even use a different color. I know you maybe don't have a different color, but I'm going to. Three years. That's our time on a $2,500 loan. That's our principal. Remember that the principal, the principal is the amount of money borrowed, amount of money borrowed or invested. And so our principal P, the real principal P, uh, at an 11.5% interest rate. Now I've got so all sorts of arrows and, and stuff flying around here, so I'm not going to add any more. But we're looking at how can we 
There we go. Sorry. How can we uh, fill in this formula? So really, we're just finding the information and plugging it into the formula. We don't know I. We know the principal is $2,500. We know the rate is 11.5%, but again, I have to change that, to change it to a decimal, to the right, or excuse me, to the left, to the left, 0 0.115, and time is in years, three. Okay, I filled in my equation. Calculator can do the rest, and again, this is where a calculator is handy, is that it will do things very quickly but you have to know what to type in. If you don't know where the right numbers go, calculators are useless. And so if I type my $2,500 times 115 thousandths times three, I'm gonna get that I need to pay an extra $862.50. So the simple interest paid would mean I would have to pay back the $2,500 loan plus an extra $862.50. So really my $2,500 loan is actually going to cost me $3,362.50. And so that's really where you come into it is I know I can pay back the $2,500, but am I willing to pay an extra $800 on top of that $2,500 for whatever it is for that boat I'm buying or SUV or whatever. But that's how we calculate it. Let's look at another one. We've got after six months, six months. So really, that's only half of a year. So when I'm doing my formula, I'm going to make sure that I use half of a year and not six years, six months. Simple interest earned on an investment of $5,000. So the investment was $5,000. That's my principal. And I know that the simple interest earned the simple interest earned was $45. So the simple interest earned was $45 on an investment of $5,000. That's my principal. And I've got six months or half of a year. I need to find the interest rate. So I equals PERT. The interest. Do we know the interest earned? Yes. The simple interest earned was $45. They told us that number. The principal, do I know the principal? Yes, I know Mr. Kovach. I know that the investment was $5,000. Do I know the rates R, find the interest rate? No, I don't know the rate. It says find the interest rate, R. Do I know time after half of a year? So I'm going to use 0 0.5 because calculators prefer decimals. I have an equation. I need to solve for R. I've got a couple choices. We can divide both sides by 5,000. We can divide both sides by 0.5. Or I can remember my uh, commutative property and say, well, let's just do 5,000 times a half times I'll flip those around. What's half of 5,000? I can do that in my head. Half of 5,000 is 2,500. Half of 50 is 25. So I don't need my calculator for that part. Now that I've got it a little bit more simplified, I can divide both sides by 2,500. On a test or a quiz, I would, not uh, I would not require you to show this middle step here. If you skipped from here down to here, I would accept that. Because 5,000 times 0.5, if you can do that math in your head, I'll accept that uh, jump. Uh, but we do need to show uh, that what happens once you've done it. Divided by 2,500, so if I take uh, 45 divided by 2,500, I get 0 0.018. But remember, that is not a percent. That is a decimal. We only have a decimal right now. The question is, find the percent or the interest rate, and uh, interest rates are always as a, as a percent. So we have to move the decimal. To the right, to the right, 1.8. The rate is 1.8%. If I lost you on that, maybe try uh, the same type of problem again and just change the numbers around. See if you can do the same idea. Uh, instead of 5,000, maybe make this, uh, maybe make it 10,000. And instead of $45, maybe make it $75.
and try the exact same thing again, give it a shot with new numbers, see what you can get. But that's how you set it up when you don't know the rate. Last one here, find the simple interest earned after two years on an investment of $3,000 at 4.5% interest earned annually. So we don't know the simple interest earned. That's our question. Find the simple interest earned. We do know the years, two years, so we know time. We know the principal, $3,000, and we know the rate, 4.5%. So I equals PERT. We don't know the interest rate. We do know the principal. We do know the rate, which again, I'm going to write as a percent, or excuse me, as a decimal. I'm going to go 0 0.045. And I do know time, two years. OK, so I can use my calculator. I'm going to do 3,000 times 0.045 times 2. I'm going to get that the interest earned on this investment. So I gave somebody else money. I gave somebody $3,000 to help them start something. And they paid me that $3,000 back plus an additional $270 as a thank you. So I earned $270. I didn't have to do anything. I lent someone $3,000. They gave me that $3,000 back. Plus, I earned $270 just for sitting back and watching TV. Not a bad gig. And so that's how interest can be played out in both ways. You have to pay extra as a thank you to a bank. But if you lend money, you get paid extra as a thank you, and you don't have to do anything about it. Oh, we do have another one. Sorry. So the simple interest paid on a loan after six months. So here's my time at six months. Remember, we have to change that to years. Six months is half of a year. Uh, the simple interest earned, simple or er, paid, excuse me. The simple interest paid was three hundred and six. Yeah, three hundred six dollars. So I know the interest paid. The annual interest rate. The interest rate was 8%. Find the principal in the office. So I'm having way too much fun with that word. Uh, OK, interest. We know the interest. The simple interest paid was $306. The principal, we don't know the rate. The rate was 8%, which is as a decimal, 8 hundredths. Our percents are always out of 100. And the time in years was half of a year. So again, I can do some math first. I could divide it twice, but I'm going to go ahead and multiply what I can. I'm going to simplify my equation and say that $306 equals P times 0 0.04, because I did half of 0 0.08. So I can multiply the things that I can. Now I need to simpl or I divide both sides to get p by itself, to isolate the variable. So I both sides by 0 0.04. If I do 306 divided by 0 0.04, I'm going to get $7,650. So my, um, my loan, I took out $7,650 as a loan and had to pay an additional $306 in interest. And that's how we use this formula. All right, try a few problems on your own, and then come back with questions, uh, asking, OK, I, I didn't get how you put those numbers in. Where'd you get this number? How'd you do that? So make sure you make note to yourself uh, any questions that you're having, any struggles that you're, that you're finding, and try these two problems on your own.